what could be the first thing? What will I be teaching you today in impact? What will I be doing with you, all of you? What do you think goes in impact? What, what is the impact of yes. when you behave in a certain way? What is the impact of that? On some right, things? right. But what is the first, the, the first impression, the first 30 seconds? If you look at another woman, what, what is it that you quickly look at and, the you know, judge? Thing. The cultural background, or you say, "Oh wow, you know, this is a personality I want to talk to, right?" Or, "Oh, she must be like, she must have got out of a Mercedes." Yeah, sure. It can all be learned the way you, uh, you know, carry yourself, the way you dress, and you know, the way you do your makeup, the way you keep your hairstyle. So that is what we're going to do a small part of it because I haven't been given too much of time by company. Okay, so the first thing is your impact, how to create a good impression, your dressing, face, your hairstyle. Now in terms of broadening your mind, it obviously goes into the other, uh, this thing. Can you tell a person's uh, uh, broad mindedness just by the dressing of a person? Do you think you can tell? Yeah, a little bit. Yes. Little bit, the way the person is dressed on the dressing. On the dressing, can you write? Can you tell about the confidence of a person? Okay, just by the dressing sense or by the way the <coughs> lady has done her makeup or her hair. Do you get that kind of a credibility from a person, right? And in that back room, we have Kamla Hassan. Now, if Ka Kamla Hassan was uh, was like a uh, dawn here, and the Director had dressed him up in any one of the other uh, garb, you know, we call it the attire. We would not have been able to relate it. You know that Tika is there and that is the Shiv Sena. So that's all. So that is how we are also judged. And we dress up according to the profession, the lifestyle and whatever we, uh, uh, you know, whatever we are doing. So somebody can read this loud, please. Uh, would you like to read your way quiet? A smartly dressed, lousy person is always taken seriously and a lousy dressed, intelligent person is often ignored. No matter how unfair this is, it stands true. Okay, all of you agree to this? A smart looking, dashing person talks well, presents well and may not be very good with work. But he can represent the company. We consider him intelligent, of course. A quiet person who sits, goes about doing the work, is not very interested. I will do my work very sincerely and all. May not. The world is getting very competitive, very, very global. We need to really, really catch up. Yeah. 